Hey everybody, take our little trip back in time here. Gonna do a little different this week. I got one needle build here, and then we're gonna do something a little bit different. And I'm gonna hold the camera so I don't have to switch so much and turn things off and on. But this is that little kit that uh, that little build that came with that box of stuff my nephew got me. It was in a bag, and I had to get it up on wheels at least. That's all I did to it and cleaned it. But it had some old vintage wheels and tires, monogram things, those great big ones. And a neat decal there. Everybody's asking about that. I put this on uh, Scale Survivors uh, Facebook page or group, and everybody's asking about that. I don't know what it came with. I don't know if it came with this kit or what. But it's kind of cool. Anyway, there's a, they have to put the tires on it. These are a little bit newer. But they were off of like a, uh, more like a toy car. Some had different wheel backs. Can't really tell because I painted them. They didn't come apart or anything. And I just put some, uh, some uh, moon discs over it. And cleaned it up. And just left everything. Oh, I did put a new front end on it. I had an old front end in my parts box there old monogram style so it worked pretty good it's a good looking good looking old uh, survivor build there i really like it my nephew scored good not much in there i kind of stuck a brush in there and dusted it a little bit no glass or anything neat decals though nothing much under here just uh as found, missing a little few things on the rear axle there, and a little bit of glue here and there. It'd be a pain to get this apart anyway. They just put so much glue on it, and it's missing a part of the exhaust. Probably something on the blower there. But neat old kit. Got it on wheels, so it's getting ready to go on the shelf. So that's what we're doing with that. So, I just got the one this week because uh, I was going through pictures and stuff looking for uh, family stuff and I came across a bunch of old pictures I took or a friend of mine took back and let's see, whatever, let me stand up here. Back in uh, when I was helping these guys with their model show. And that's the first one we did right there in 92. I got pictures from uh, a lot of them, some I don't. Uh, he took pictures and gave me some and then I forgot to get some. But I did that show for 10 years, it was a lot of fun. So we're just gonna go back to like 92, so we're not going, I'm not taking a very long trip back in time, but it's some neat old models that were built and it just it's just pretty cool so I thought I'd share some pictures with you and there is uh, like the first year uh, our booth you can see kind of small uh, we had somebody make that banner for the club scale auto builders of Spokane and a guy in the club made some signs for us at b, b Hobbies for a sponsor. Scale Auto donated some magazines. The hobby Shop gave us some kits. This is before we had any entries, but yeah, and when then and before the awards were put on the table. But that's where we started back in '92. And I got a, there's another shot of us starting to get some cars coming in. Uh, not not a whole lot that first year. The first year they were doing it. And Pat Newell asked me to help. Uh, somebody, some local car guy uh, knew him. There's a neat build there. And there, and, and uh, told him about us. So he got a hold of me and asked if I want to help him out. And I said, heck yeah. Uh, that's uh, Gortzma. I can't remember his first name. Some of these guys I remember, some I don't. Uh, that's Russ Freund. That's a... Big scale, like the big deuce, the big T, whatever. Uh, 
Yeah, he builds real hot rods now that are just as badass as that. I don't know if anybody's heard of him, but I can't remember the name of his shop. Flower and Pulse Falls. Uh, pretty famous stuff, though, he builds. Oh, wait a minute, I think we missed a page. No, yeah, we did. See, there's a nice little dragster there. Then we jump up to 97, and that's me and my son. As you can see, it changed a little bit. We moved to a different spot in the building. Uh, lots of donations of kits to give away. I would write to uh, AMT, Monogram, Ravel, all the guys. And uh, if it's a legit contest, they would donate. So I put their signs up there for them. And Scale Auto gave us some magazines. And then and then the uh, NSRA would give us the plaques. And then... Uh, I would buy like second and third place ribbons for the uh, younger age group, but everybody got a first place plaque. There we are, keeping track of the models. That's my son there, checking stuff out. Pretty good turnout. That thing there is pretty cool. Uh, this is a year some guys from California came up, which was really cool because we hadn't had anybody that far away. We had Canada, you know, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, stuff like that, Seattle, but nobody from California. This was, I believe this was a local guy. I worked with him at the at the uh, car dealership I worked at at the time. I think this is one of his builds. Worked with him for a few years, didn't know he built models, and holy crap, did he build models. Uh, damn, I can't remember his name. Uh, that's my best friend, uh. Rich, he built that, cut the doors open, cut the trunk off, made a little drag car out of it. He's a Mopar freak. And then I think that was another car that came from California, Eddie Hill's old uh, twin engine dragster. And that's a local guy, I can't remember his name. That's a neat build. That's really cool there. Nice little, uh, that's uh, Jim Starlin, I think. I think that's Jim Starlin too. There's another one from Rich, his little 32. That was uh, Paul LeClaire. Built that little V8 Jaguar thing, it's pretty cool. That guy I don't remember. Uh, that was a younger guy. That was a younger guy, nice stuff. That's really nice build there, look at that. Wow, and then here we are 98. Kind of same setup. Signs, uh, uh, Kent made all these signs for us out of cardboard, which is pretty cool. And about the same type of layout, kits uh, for giveaways and uh, plaques for second, third, best of show, best interior, all that sort of thing. And uh, make sure everybody got a kit. Usually had enough for if you didn't win anything, you still got a kit. There's some of all the stuff. There's another shot of it. So the signs that can't, there's a it says Wendell Ford back there. That's a banner they sponsor too and give me some stuff to give away. Donate some stuff. There's a layout there. There's a nice little uh, 32 local guy built. I don't know who built that, but it's pretty cool. That thing's pretty cool. Kind of a 60s looking custom there's that check out the check out the rust on it pretty pretty sweet yeah, that might have been uh, Jim's car there I'm not sure that's uh, Kent the guy that made all the signs he was a phenomenal factory stock excuse me uh, builder he would usually cut one door open in the trunk and make him as close to a factory uh, stock as he could get. Uh, yeah, we lost him about 2008, I think. Yeah, that was a, what a loss that was. Anyway, here's some more from that year. I can't remember who that is or that is. That's pretty cool. There, let's get this over here. The light's a little bit less glarier. And there's some, a couple winners there and some nice stuff. And oh, I'm, that picture's gone. Yeah, that's a neat little build. I just went through, I got a whole bunch of pictures, not a whole bunch, but a few, and I just took all the best ones out and put them in this smaller little album. 
years ago so I could get it out once I want to look at it. That's pretty cool. That's a neat little ride there. Pretty good weathering job there. There's somebody's shop, a little diorama. I don't know, I think that came from out of town. That's pretty cool. I don't know who made that one. There's some NASCAR guy showed up with some crazy NASCAR model. Let's see the scratches down the side and stuff right out of the race. Here we are in 99. This is my wife back there. I always tried to set things up a little different every year. Uh, so something, you know, you guys that come back every year would see something a little bit different. But there's all the plaques and ribbons and stuff. And there's all the kits donated again. Yeah, I had, I had the model companies donated almost every year. It was pretty cool. Could have done it without them guys. AMT, Ravel, Monogram, Lindbergh, Scale Auto, local hobby shops. There's another side There's my diorama. That would take down there and throw a few of my cars on there. And a few of the people that entered street rods. I would kind of use that for a street rod uh, class display. So it was uh, rods by Rob. So they'd have street rods on there. So a lot of the people in the street rod class got their car there. There's some more stuff. You gotta have the don't touch sign. It doesn't work, but you gotta put it up there anyway. And that little red, white, and blue thing, that's uh, my buddy Rich, that's one of his builds. And uh, there's a, we had some valve covers there, they asked if they could enter those, I'm like, heck yeah, you can enter them. So we kind of made up a class real quick for them. So it was worth their while, there's a little shot, whoops. The, the street rod, and I'm sorry, it was really nice plaques, really nice. They weren't real big, but they were really nice. Really appreciate their help. And there's another shot of some stuff. It's a neat little custom right there. That thing, there's another little shot of the shop and stuff. It's a nice shot of some builds there. It's a lot of fun back then. All kinds of all kinds of stuff, met all kinds of people, talk and tell stories and but back in the good old days it was it was a lot of fun. There's that pink thing that uh, Kent did. I think that white, like a studs bear cat or whatever, I think that was his too. The guy was just amazing. What a loss. There's some racing division there. And there's this, looks like some street rods or something there. A little bit of everything. There's another shot of the bench or the tables. You can kind of get an idea. That's my youngest son. That's the one we lost back in uh, 2016. He was a little guy then. And got a big three three kit model kit donated. There's my son and I standing there talking, figuring out what to do. Lots of cool stuff. There's another shot of it. It's pretty cool. There's some stuff there. There's those valve covers again. And. Uh, that's Kent right there, the guy we lost. He made all those signs. That was a lot of work. Making those, I don't know how he did it. Uh, they're made on that poster board. Here's a nice shot. Yeah, it grew and grew and grew. It got bigger and bigger. It worked out great. A few times we had to put the uh, models back on the table behind us where the awards were. Here's another shot. The stuff, pretty cool. That's a nice picture there. Some it's like street machines or something. After we got enough in, we would finally uh, try to organize them in classes, but sometimes we just got too full. And then that was the last last picture I had. What year was that? 90, 99, I think. Let's, uh, let's flip through here real quick and see. Uh, where's my little date up in the corner there? Anybody see a little date up in the corner? 99, I guess, yep. That was the last one for that. And then uh, Hot Rod Cafe over in Pulse Falls had a car show. And he moved uh, to the old dog, uh, I think, yeah, the old 
dog race truck, I think it was, and he had a huge car show, and he wanted us to put on a model contest. So Rich and I and our wives went over there. There's Rich right there. Kind of, kind of see him. Took our stuff over there. Just we had stuff on the table until entrance started coming in, and when you know it, nobody really give a rat's butt. So we just had our stuff. Told the guy he didn't need to give any kind of awards or anything because nobody was there. So that was the end of that. These are just some pictures of my. Uh, diorama that I had and sold like an idiot some builds of mine and the other guys in the show There's another picture of it there there's a nice shot of the inside of the I got to build another one of those someday hopefully that was a lot of fun should have kept it but hey you know I made an offer I couldn't refuse so I didn't refuse it another shot so yeah I forgot those pictures were in there I got a couple over on my desk, but I forgot about those. Yeah, it's cool what you find when you go looking around for stuff. Anyway, that's a little trip back in time with uh, a few things that uh, around here that I used to be involved in. So hopefully you guys got some cool ideas on some of this stuff here. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. Anyway, that didn't take as long as I thought. I got more pictures, maybe I'll show you someday. But that's good for now. Take another look at that bad boy. And we got some stuff uh, coming up to look at. So, with that, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your comments. And I try and answer all of you. Sometimes it takes me a while. Life things come up, so I get a little behind. But I don't forget. So with that, thanks. Uh, thank you for subscribing. All you subscribers, I appreciate it very much. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're following along. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Join in on the fun. Check out stuff. You never know what you're going to see because I jump around a lot. But I'm doing it for fun. So whatever I get a hankering to show, that's what I'll show. So with that, I'm out of here. Everybody take care. See you guys uh, Friday morning. Model cars and coffee. Unless I need an update or something. So until then, everybody uh, gallop away and I'll talk to you later. Bye.